Hey folks, I can give y'all a quick update. Oh, remember that last video? There you go. Let's turn out! Okay, take two. We got more battery now. All right. On that last one, when I was working on this truck, showed y'all, you know, I couldn't spell. I said ECC, not EEC. Anyways, we're going to plug that back in because we have got it. Here, it'd probably help if y'all was looking at it. But we have got it fixed. Oh, that's backwards. Maybe. No, that was right. Okay. Here's what I discovered. This is why I want to share it with y'all. All right, these here zip ties is on that green hard vacuum line. All right, them yellow ones was on there, these wasn't. And this is a lesson. If you go in and you work on something and you're like, in this case, I was putting a new uh, distributor cap, rotor button, wires and plugs. If you do that and you get a worse problem check anything to do with what you just did and what i mean is i remember i snatched these right here off i worked all down on this side of the motor and then i got this code coming up for the egr all right i had two codes egr and a wheel speed sensor well odds are a wheel speed sensor is not going to be tied to a exhaust gas recirculation valve not saying that it can't but it ain't real strong odds. So I was at the firehouse yesterday. I had all day to think about this. I come back this morning and I run this truck up there to the store to get some petrol in it. And that was, uh, it got me thinking. So on the way back, I didn't look all over in here. I just unplugged this because that's what actuates this. All right. When I unplugged it, the truck immediately started running right still had a check engine light obviously because i had unplugged the egr but it went running right so i says to myself i said self something's got to be wrong with that egr we're getting a code it runs good without it plugged in so got home pulled it in the barn got to looking sure enough that green hard vacuum line had come unstowed right there so, got me a couple of them trusty old zip ties. And if you remember back to that video, I said uh, that person had an affinity for zip ties like myself. Well, they had some plug wires zip tied up here. But when they did that, and I cut that zip tie right there, I loosened this up. When I loosened it up, it come loose. Went ahead and changed everything out and done what I was doing. And it run like crap and frustrated me and I scan codes and tried to decipher forward codes and they're nothing like a GM. A GM makes good sense. If it's going to be code 12 that tells you the computer's functioning right, you get a flash, pause, flash, flash, pause, flash, pause, flash, flash, pause. It does each code three times. This thing kicks out some hieroglyphical stuff that I'm pretty sure is crossed with Cantonese. And then uh, you just keep writing numbers down until you find something that works. You need to watch somebody else on that, not me. Anywho, I did decipher it was going to be an EGR deal. And uh, found this line. Patched it back up. This is not factory. Because uh, that line's supposed to be solid there. They are hard lines to keep from collapsing because they're vacuum, so they're suction. Somebody had already patched it with a piece of vacuum line and zip tied it. I essentially tore that apart. This couldn't actuate. Truck run like crap. That fixed this problem here. So I still had the old exhaust leak. So I got out of wrench and I got down there on the header bolts because somebody else before me got tired of having cracked manifolds and they put headers on it. All right. Every bolt on this side was had worked itself loose. I got at least two full turns out of every single one of them on this side so we tighten that up and 
and we fixed this and we still got the wheel speed sensor issue but i actually worked on this truck long before i owned it before matt owned it um and i'm pretty sure that it was i think it's the other side one of the caliper clips had broke and fell out inside the rim and i can't tell there was a pretty good scratch inside the rim round and round but i imagine that wheel speed sensor if i had to guess being that side was already tore up one go around that's probably where it is but we'll deal with that later on it runs it stops hopefully the gas mileage will improve from about six to you know maybe ten and we'll we'll see what it does but anyhow wanted to give y'all a quick update on what i found and uh that's it for this you folks have a good old big or a big old good and whichever way you got to do it and we'll catch y'all later on see you around